What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer 229. Welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock Infinite. Last time, we confronted the ghost of Lady Comstock one last time. Elizabeth was able to calm her, and the Siren was able to open the way to Comstock House. We then had another run-in with Songbird, and unfortunately, in order to protect Booker, Elizabeth had to give herself up to the Songbird to take her back to the tower. In this episode, we continue in pursuit of Elizabeth. We need to rescue her no matter what the cost. So we're gonna go through Comstock House in order to find her. Okay, this is getting even more and more freaky. No sins evade his gaze. What? Um... Let's maybe explore before we get into any combat. I see some salt. Maybe wait for that light to turn around before... Suck! Oh shoot! That actually made all of them aggro to me! That was not what I expected to have happen. Okay, that ought to help. That actually helped out a lot. Wow, okay. This is actually working surprisingly well. Okay. That certainly worked out a lot better than I anticipated. Although now I'm pretty much out of shotgun shells. And honestly, a sniper rifle here is not going to be the most helpful thing in the world. Unless I get to a big open area. Okay. However, I do not see any weapons coming my way. Well, great. Area is restricted. I gotta find a way in. Entrance only by warrant to go all the way up to the warden's office to get in. Okay. Use intercom. Um. No, that's all I can do. Well then. All right. Listen. Just want to see the girl. What were those? Doesn't matter. I just gotta get to the warden's office. Please. Oh. Please, Lord, it's this okay. Just send me back to my tower. It's too late for that. Exactly. Now, Wait, what? My father gave you a lovely home. And you chose to destroy it. He's not my father. Well, we can still hear Elizabeth. Wait, what? I suppose the siphon is a kind of leash. Yes, my father put it on me. But when the time came, neither did I remove it myself. What would happen if I took off the leash? I found I was as obedient as ever. I see. It's this world's Elizabeth. 
Just like this world's Booker was a martyr, so too does it have its own Elizabeth. And apparently, this one fared a lot worse than ours. Okay, well, thankfully I found this pistol. So I've at least got plenty of ammo. Now it's just a matter of what I'm exactly I'm gonna use it on. Oh, uh, which way's gonna open? Ow. Oh, oh great! Like my father, I can see all that would be, might be, and must not be. Um. Great. How am I going to actually do this stealthily? Because this is not designed to be a stealth game. If it was, they would give me a vigor for that. Whatever. Wow, that actually didn't cause them to go? Stop! Um, here's an idea. This is, I think this is marginally working. Yes, it is actually working because the more that die, the more crows that appear. This act's actually working pretty well. Well then, thank you crows. Now I'm out of salt. <sighs> These things don't have anything on them. Okay, I also used up a fair amount of my pistol ammo. Nothing that way. More salt, certainly use more of that. Here we lie. Interesting. There's another tear over there. Can't get to it, though. And that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay, well, what's over this way? Maybe another box of phone? Maybe some ammo? Hell, I'm still missing a few infusions. <laughs> Maybe I could get one of those. Salt! Okay, I'm in content with that. Um, doesn't look like I can actually go over that way. Wait, what? Kinetoscope. Sunrise. Okay. I take it that was Columbia rising from, like, appearing out of the clouds? Where would they actually get the equipment to set that up for that shot? That's some impressive foresight. Okay, well, whatever. I grabbed myself the carbine rifle. I'm not a huge fan of this, but it's going to be better than the sniper rifle in this enclosed area. There are my crows. And another tear. Not hearing anything. The way to go isn't this way, so I will proceed to explore this way. Coffins? Oh, a heater. Um, yeah, better than the sh uh, better than the carbine rifle, but I'm not sure by how much. Our minds are born festering with sin. Some are so blighted, they will never find redemption. The mind must be pulled up from the roots. My children, 
are without blame, without fault, and without choice. For what is the value of will when the spirit is found wanting? Eliminating choice. This is why I'm not a big fan of Zealistry, because oftentimes it relies on blind ignorance, blind faith, going about things without questioning. And oftentimes it's. It condemns free will, yet, free will is what makes humanity humanity. Humanity is capable of both good and evil. Without both, people are not people, and one would not be recognized without the other. You need to have both good and evil in the world. You can't just simply take one out of, the, out of existence. To do that would be to completely change the human condition and make humanity something unrecognizable. Why I can't stand ideologies like that. Why I can't stand lines of thinking like that. Okay, the hand cannon's gonna probably be a lot better suited. Let's see what's through here. Child, would you like to pray with me? You're hurting me. Please just let me go. We're going to cure you. I'm not sick. Your spirit is. All I ever wanted is to see you live up to your potential. Like hell. That's just... Cruel. To perform cruel experiments, just... The sake of the spirit. The sake of one's soul is tied to one's conscience. You can't rectify that through operations. Things of that material without completely changing who that person is. In a sentence, you're just killing them and replacing them with something else. Something unrecognizable. What the hell did you do here, Comstock? Okay, I don't see anything through here. I know there was a tear that I saw earlier, but I don't think I can get to that. Where we cleanse. Oh boy. Game, you really know how to freak someone out. Cigarettes. I thought the head disappeared, and that made things even more freaky. What the hell? Oh, it's a toy boat. Wasn't quite sure what that was. I'm Dr. Pettifog, Elizabeth. I'll be taking care of you. Get away from me. Defiant, even after all this time. DeWitt just left you here. You need to give up on him, love. He will come. Is this our Elizabeth? I thought that it was just the tears. She didn't even go through a tear. Elizabeth, where the hell are you? Where we sleep. Okay. Well, I've got my crows. I see another tear. I would like him to notice me while I'm as far away as possible. There we go. Got their attention. Crows?
There we go. This ought to work. Okay. This is certainly working. Okay. I at least took care of them. And of course... They don't have anything. Of course they wouldn't. None of them have had anything thus far. It really makes getting through here pretty... difficult. Because all I've got is the ammo I've got on me. I haven't seen anything to buy ammo. Teddy bear. I also haven't seen any ammo on the ground. Oh, that's also problematic. Makes me wonder if I should just keep some of those other weapons, but... You know, that's why I have my vigors. So at least give me salt. Oh, hey! Just as I said that they di weren't giving me any ammo. They gave me some pistol ammo. Well, that's kind of the game. The specimen needs to be destroyed. We couldn't even hold her in that tower. And now the prophet... Destroy the lamb? His hair? If we modify the procedure, we could... It would be safer for everyone. It would seem an accident. This is not good. This is not good. The atrium. Um. Wish I didn't trigger that tear, but whatever. I'm gonna have to read it during editing. Okay, uh, let's go with fucking Bronco. Damn it. That really tossed him high in the air. I'm also being shot at. Oh, those things are up there? Yeah, I did not get to see what that terror was at all. Uh, well, here's an idea. Oh, that really sucked. The hell just shot at me? Oh, a sniper! Damn it. Carbine rifle? Man... My sniper rifle is really freaking far away. So at least got this. I could shoot the turrets. That's one of them. Ah! Unfortunately, that was not technically a melee. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. That will help. Okay. Reload this. Get the turret. Almost. Got it. Hailfire. Not gonna need that at the moment. Carbine ammo. That's at least helpful for the present. Still a sniper heal. Eve and her apple, Sounds as though Elizabeth is just spouting out exactly what Comstock spouted. And yeah, like I said, humanity is capable of great evil. But it's also capable of the greatest virtues. If you simply just take away that choice, 
You take away what makes humanity humanity. The freedom to choose between right and wrong. After all, God gave humanity that free will. And it's in knowing what is right and wrong is that makes humans humans. Thanks to the... Well, thanks to the Garden of Eden and the Apple of Knowledge, or the Fruit of Knowledge. It's usually depicted as an apple, but it's really just the Fruit of Knowledge. That is what makes humanity humanity. To get rid of that, like I said, is to completely change who we are as human beings. And turn us into something completely unrecognizable. This time, Prophet, even if we cure her, why do you think she'll do what you ask? My daughter has two problems, Doctor. One is the condition that science will cure her of. The other affliction is of a spiritual nature. What affliction is that? Hope. Hope is what, again, in fact, hope is not even a negative thing. Hope in a better life. Hope for something greater than oneself. Hope is not a bad thing. To take that away... We need to find Elizabeth. We need to find her and fast. Pistol... I'm good. Hummingbirds. bird. Oh great, now what are we getting ourselves into? Your surgery is tomorrow, you know. You better eat. Oh, you still expect a wit to burst in and rescue you, don't you? It's been six months. Six months. Yeah, this is definitely our Elizabeth. Still, how is how has it been six months? How is it that so much time has passed? Okay, this is this is really getting to be unsettling. Especially if these random Comstock has just thrown into the mix. I'll check around every corner, see if there's any supplies I can gather. Ah, great. Another one of these things. Shotgun. Happily take that. I'm actually wondering if I might be able to get around this. I am not sure. I might not. We might actually be able to do this stealthily this time. Eat it! Okay, where we learn. Well, I can hear my own electric traps. Come through there. A man once promised me that he would free me of my chains. But in the end, he abandoned me to serve his own needs. But in some ways, I thank him. He showed me exactly 
how much faith our species deserved. What the hell is God happening? Put his faith in men once too. It seems that we have something in common. Disappointment. I did not always love the prophet. Truth, I ran from his embrace. I even denied that I was his. I followed a man who seemed to be everything my father was not. That man was a false shepherd. And when the wolves came for me, he was nowhere to be found. Trying to find you all this time. Trying to save you. To help us uh, in return for saving us. She requires only our submission and nothing more. Simplicity, humility, servility. What is the value of will when the spirit is wanting? Lord gave us life, we gave him disappointment. If God truly did want to erase humanity, if he truly saw humanity as a mistake, as a disappointment, he could have very easily killed off humanity a long time ago, put the world to flames like Sodom and Gomorrah, simply not telling Noah about the flood and letting the whole world drown. And yet, he allows humanity to continue onward. He continues to give humanity a chance. That is what is believed in in Christianity. And that is essentially a truth that Comstock and this entire situation completely ignores. Yes, humanity can sin. Yes, humanity can turn their back to God. But ultimately, it is man's choice that brings him closer to God. For what greater love is there than to willingly accept the love of someone else, that of God, rather than having it forcefully done? That is not true love in any sense of the word. Let's press onward. Enough of theology for today. Let's keep moving. We don't have that much time left in the episode, so let's see how much further we can go. Another one of these. Battleship Falls. unsettling. Like, seriously, how has the passage of time gone so awry? Security center. Ah, great. Okay. Nothing at the moment. I don't see anything. Voxophone? Right now, what is it? As the days pass, I believe less in God and more in Lutes. My powers shrivel as my regrets blossom. All of this because my father failed me. By the time I realized how far I'd gone, it was too late to stop it. But there is still one last chance at redemption for both of us. We're 
fighting as hard as we can. We're still coming for you, Elizabeth. We're still on our way. Hold out just a little bit longer. We're on our way. New hat. Rising bloodlust. After each successful kill, up to five, weapon damage is increased. Resets ten seconds after last kill. Interesting. So I deal more damage the more enemies I kill in quick succession. Uh, the other thing is Burning Halo, right? Yeah. Uh, I still love bur Burning Halo too much. Alright, well... Warren's office seems to be just up ahead. So I think now might be a good time to call it a day. So, next time on Let's Play, Bioshock Infinite. We continue to press onward. I don't know how so much time has passed since... Since we were knocked unconscious. And how... How is it that... Six months have passed. I suppose we'll find our answer soon enough, but we still need to find Elizabeth. We're still on this rescue operation. Just hang on a little bit longer. Cavalry's almost arrived. So until next time, everyone. Take care. <laughs>